Five teams at Colley can work in at C0? Let's get it. But firstly, Dendro's a new element. We don't fully know how to optimise it yet. This is simply five teams that I find she works in on Dendro's release while people get a feel for a place in the meta. I find any of Stringless, Fade in Twilight or Favonia's Warbo work well as free to play options? If you have Elegy or a Crit Bow, you can use those too. Thought Beast Deepwood to reduce the enemy's resistance to Dendro. We're running an Elemental Mastery Sands for spread reactions, but if you can manage somewhere around 3 or 400 Elemental Mastery with Attack Sands, you can go for Attack instead. And she's triple crowned? If you're a meta player, I don't think you should triple crown her, but it's Kale. If you read the manga, you understand that she's special. Our first team is Raiden, Yulan, Kale, and Diona. Check this out. C0 Raiden. No food buffs. Very achievable damage. Diona's using Sack Bow. Yulan's using Fav Bow. And Raiden's using the catch. Diona's C6 gives 200 elemental mastery. And with her being Cryo, she doesn't mess up any Dendro reactions. So I think she'll be run with a lot of Dendro characters. I found it is a really comfy team with Diona's shield and healing. And the bursts are constantly up because of Raiden. On top of that, with most bursts here having a high energy cost, it gives Raiden more resolve stacks. If you look here, everyone's bursts are up. Raiden's, Yolan's, Kole's, and Diona's. Raiden works well as a DPS here for several reasons. As I mentioned, the team gives her a lot of resolve stacks, Yolan's passive gives Raiden extra total damage, and the Dendro application will let Raiden trigger Aggravate to increase her damage. Yolan also has a passive where her HP is increased by more for every different element you have in the team, so with this one having 4 elements, she'll make the most of that. And again, everyone's bursts are ready. Even though he's coming to the standard banner next patch, a few of you might have gone in and got yourself a Tignari. Here's a team where I found they work well together. If you have Yai, I think she'll do a better job than Fischl here, but Fischl still puts in work. Cookie's only C1 and the healing's more than enough to keep the team alive. And with her having an EM passive, she'll benefit from this team because the Denro Resonance is going to give EM to everyone. The biggest difference between this team and the last is that this team only has two elements, so there's going to be less variation in the reactions, but more of a focus on getting spread and aggravate off. If you don't know by now, when you apply Dendro and Electro to an enemy, they'll enter the Quicken State. Hitting an enemy in the Quicken State with Electro will trigger aggravate to increase the damage of the Electro attack. Hitting an enemy in the Quicken State with Dendro will trigger spread to increase the damage of a Dendro attack. With there not being any other elements here, the Dendro and Electro attacks are going to be hitting for a lot of damage. You can also stick the new Sumeru Craftable Sword on Cookie, and when you trigger the effect at R5, you can give 120 EM to the character that picks it up. I prefer this team against single targets, but I think Yai would be more effective in Fischl for situations with multiple targets like the one you're watching here. If you wanted to make this team more effective at AoE, with you getting Electro application from Cookie, you could swap Fischl out for a crowd control character like Sucrose, and she'll bring benefits like giving the team elemental mastery, as well as holding the thrill and tails. Now I need you all to know that Collie's not designed to be an on-field DPS, let alone a physical one, so this team isn't going to get you 9 stars on floor 12 very often. With that said, it can be done if your builds are good enough, or if you're like me and you just really like Collie as a character, as I know a lot of you have done since meeting her in the manga, you can use this team to make her feasible as an on-field driver and just have fun with it. We're running a compound bow which gives you physical damage as a substat, but the main benefit is the attack speed from the weapon passive. This attack speed is going to let you trigger Fischl's C6 as well as Sing Cho and Yulan's burst a lot quicker, meaning more damage from the team. You can achieve better results with other bow characters being a driver, but a benefit Kale brings is the quicken reactions with Fischl, as well as the bloom seeds from reactions with Hydro. Sing Cho is the only healer in this comp, so I can see it potentially not working if you're up against enemies with bleed, but against enemies without bleed, it's solid as long as you can dodge and make use of the iframes. One thing to bear in mind though is it's a very single target orientated team. So while it won't be amazing against groups of enemies, it will quickly take down enemies like the Dendro Chicken on screen now. For this team, I'm using Kirching as a placeholder for Sino because I'm hoping Sino is going to be a strong DPS. But even still, Kirching performs well in this team. The Geo Resonance increases damage by 15% and Albedo's Burst gives a little bit of elemental mastery, which is going to benefit the spread and aggravate reactions. I didn't find this team as effective as some of the others, but one benefit it did have is that the burst costs are low, so you can just have fun quickly swapping through the characters. If Sino does end up being a DPS and using him as an aggravate DPS in this team should work well, there might be some situations where Albedo doesn't work because some heavier enemies can destroy his flower. In that situation you could sacrifice the Geo Resonance and swap Albedo out for Dendro Traveler for the Dendro Resonance. 
an electro character like Fischl for the electro resonance, or maybe even Kazuha to swell the electro. To be honest, Albedo is just a flex slot and I used him here just to show the different options you can have with Kale being an off-field character, but you can pretty much use any supports you think might benefit the team. I'd use an energy recharge bow on Kali though to avoid messing up rotations, especially if you don't have a C1. Fortunately, most of them have good passives and there are a lot of options. For this last team, I wanted to get Kali and Amber in the same team because of the chemistry from the manga. I'll admit a lot of the heavy lifting is being done by Bennett and Shang Ling, but Kali and Amber work in the team too, so if you're looking for a way to play them together, until we get more characters tailored towards burning, I'd suggest giving this one a go. The fact that Amber's burst cost is only 40 means you can spam it quite a lot, and if you're lucky enough to have a C6, you can give the team a little attack boost. I think this helps Kale, especially if you've used Elemental Mastery sounds on her. If you have the Elegy as well, then putting it on Kale or Amber here will take your team's damage output even higher. Burning hasn't impressed me as much as the Electro and Denro reactions though, and I think a lot of people feel the same way. Until we get some characters designed for burning reactions, just keep in mind this team won't be able to clear the abyss as fast as some of your more meta teams. Overall, I was hoping Kali would be a 5 star, but as far as 4 stars go, I think she's okay, and she'll only get better as more units tailored towards Denro reactions come out. If you enjoyed this video, I'll be uploading one for Tignari tomorrow with 5 teams that have found he works in. If that's something you'd be interested in watching, then subscribe and turn notifications on so you can get a ping when the video goes up. Let me know in the comments if I missed any teams that you found Collie works well in and I'll give them a go. Take it easy.